friends, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Ms. Nucha from the Winfield Public Library, and today we're combining science in our kitchen, and we're going to create a delicious, awesome treat. We are making lava toffee, and it's also known in, in so many different countries by different names. It's been known as cinder toffee, sponge candy, sea foam candy, honeycomb candy, and my favorite is hokey pokey candy. When I was growing up in Canada, it was very, very popular, and I would stop by the bakery and buy a big bag full for five cents. Can you believe that? We got only the broken up pieces, the little tiny morsels, but they would melt in your mouth, and they were so divine and airy that I am so excited today we're, we're doing this. But before you start, you need a nine by nine pan. I'm using a round one and I put my parchment paper in. I also cheated and put foil at the bottom. But prepare your pan, it needs to be heat proof. You don't wanna burn yourself when you're using it. You need to have a wooden spoon. When you're stirring this hot mixture, you don't want a metal spoon where you're gonna burn yourself. You're gonna need a candy thermometer because you need to bring this mixture to 300 degrees. And then you need a cup of sugar, one third cup, I'm not gonna pick it up yet, where I go? One third cup of honey, or you can use uh, corn syrup or molasses, but so many, so many people call it honeycomb candy, so I'm gonna use honey today a third cup of water, and the magic ingredient is two and a half teaspoons of baking soda. You know what happens when you use baking soda with vinegar? Do you remember, boys and girls? It creates an eruption. Well, our candy's gonna do that too today, and you will love what happens. So, after you've prepared all your ingredients, this is the last thing. We're gonna put the baking soda in there when it reaches 300 degrees. And we're gonna put this at our stove on a medium heat. Don't try to rush it. Don't try to say, well, let's go faster. No, you want everything to uh, melt slowly and become this syrup. So I'm gonna start by putting all our ingredients in our container, in our pot, and then we're gonna to go to the stove. So put your water in and make sure your pot is big enough. Add your sugar, and then I'm adding honey. But like I said, you can use syrup. But I thought I didn't have, actually I was looking for my syrup. I thought oh, I'll try the syrup. Couldn't find any, not going out to buy anything, using what I have in the house. But you can use molasses, or syrup, golden syrup, or just plain white syrup. Make sure you got it all out. Okay, I think it's pretty clean. I'm gonna stir it, stir it gently, give it a quick stir. See my mixture? We're gonna take this to the stove. Okay. Follow me to the stove on a medium low heat. Remember, don't try to rush it. You want to take your time. Make sure you bring your, your baking soda and your thermometer and your prepared pan and have mitts with you. You will need them. You may be tempted to raise the fire, but please, please remember, slow and steady, slow and steady. Mm. When I'm done, you're gonna have to let this rest for an hour and a half, and then you could dip it in chocolate. Ooh. Now this process on the stove is gonna take about 10 minutes, more or less. You don't have to put your thermometer in until it starts to bubble, but then I would put the thermometer in. 
so now we wait see how it, the honey makes it golden a little bit and remember low to medium heat no rushing If you notice, it's starting to bubble a little bit. But in a minute, we're going to put our thermometer in. Now you could use a digital one if you have one. I have an old fashioned one. And remember, you need to go to 300 degrees. And it's been about three, four minutes. starting to bubble. I'm going to put my thermometer in now. See how it's getting golden now? Oh, it's so pretty. We are almost, we're halfway there. And I stopped stirring now. We're just letting it do its thing. It's becoming a golden syrup. 295. Soon as it hits 300, you shut off the flame. And we are there. Okay. Remember, now you put your baking soda and you stir. Look what is happening. It is becoming golden. Okay, I think we stirred enough. Move it to your prepared pan. Wow, this is beautiful. So golden, like I remember. And put it in water right away. And there it is. We're going to let it rest now. Don't do anything to it, just let it be. And uh, we'll come back in, in an hour and a half when it's ready. So an hour and a half has passed and I think I'm really happy with the results. I just washed my hands. Make sure before you touch your uh, lava toffee, you wash and dry your hands real good. Ready? Look at it. It's light. It feels like just a few ounces. My pan is still clean. I really didn't need so many layers of paper, but I didn't know. And look, nothing stuck. It's just like I remember from my childhood. Now to break it, how do you think we're gonna do it? Just take a knife and you go. Wow, it'll break. Maybe I made my little thicker. It will break. Ah. Now it depends on how thick. If you use a if you use a thinner pan, I'm using my husband's meat tenderizer that he made me. Wow. Oh, I love the color. Now, cut it as big or as little as you like. 
Oh my, look how airy. Let me bring it closer. Look at the results. Can you see? Woo. Look at that. Can you see the airy pockets? See how airy it is? Now, you can cut it as big as you want. You can melt some chocolate and just, look, it does break easy too. But it's actually easier with a, I find it easier with a knife. Just the point. I bet you could, yep, it even works with that, but this is easier. Maybe if I would have used a bigger pan, it would have been flatter. But I'm very, very, very happy. All those pockets, all those little holes. Now you can take and melt some chocolate, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and just dip it in. I'm not going to do it today, but it's exactly, oh my gosh, it's airy. It's exactly like a remember. Perfect. So remember. One cup sugar, a third cup of corn syrup or honey, a third cup of water, and two and a half teaspoons of baking soda that you put at the very end. And don't over stir. Remember, just pour it into your prepared pan. And then you can keep it for, I'd say, a month or so. Just put it in an airtight container. Or this, you know, you can put it on a plate and display it really pretty and serve it to your friends. All the little crumbs you can put on top of ice cream or on top of a cake. Nothing goes to waste. That's what I would buy. This is exactly what I would buy from the store, from the bakery store. All the little crumbs, we'd get that bag for five cents. So I hope you enjoyed today's experiment. And thank you so much for joining. And let me know how yours turned out. Thanks so much for joining. Enjoy your uh, lava toffee or hokey pokey or sponge candy, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me know how it turned out. Bye, everyone.